Abd Rahman ibn Muhammad ibn Qasim, you may not be familiar with that name. He died in 1972, but he, in a way, is a revival. He's a man that compiled the fatwa of Ibn Taymiyyah today. For all the centuries since the death of Ibn Taymiyyah, those fatwa were not compiled until this man in the 60s compiled them. He went all over the world. First he started in the Arabian Peninsula, looked around for any booklets, any fatawa, any statements by Ibn Taymiyyah, written by Ibn Taymiyyah. He began to gather them. Then he traveled to Egypt to try to get any of fatawa Ibn Taymiyyah and compile them and gather them and put them together. The first visit to Egypt, he didn't get nothing out of it. He went a second time. He did actually in a second time compile some more of the uh, uh, writing of Ibn Taymiyyah. Then he took his son Muhammad because as he grew older he got he, he became very ill. He took his son Muhammad to Lebanon and when he got to Lebanon he wasn't able to make it but he sent his son to nearby Asham. May Allah grant them uh, and hasten their victory. Uh, when he went to Asham, his son went to Asham, he came back with 850 pages handwritten by Ibn Taymiyyah that weren't published before. Because, of, because Ibn Taymiyyah spent a great portion of his life there. Then they went to Paris and they found 13 Masail written by Ibn Taymiyyah they did not find in their journey throughout the Arabic countries in Paris. And then he went to Baghdad and found more. And among that which he found uh, in Baghdad is al risala Tadmuriya, a very important work. And maybe in the future, if Allah grants us time in life, we'll study that. So he went all over, around the world and gathered and compiled it in the 37 volumes you see today, al fatawa Amongst his students are Abdullah ibn Jibreel, Hamoud al-Uqla, Abdullah ibn, uh, Abdullah ibn Frayyan. They, actually, Hamoud ibn Uqla, which you all know, he is his adopted son. Uqla, Sheikh Hamoud al-Uqla, was kicked out of his house when he was a 13-year-old kid. And this man adopted him and taught him and sent him to Shiuch and he became Sheikh Hamoud al-Uqla, one of the great Imams of our time. Al-Frayyan, which was the man, all these are dead. Rahmatullah Ali Majreen. Frayyan is the one who opened Quran halaqat all throughout, organized halaqat all throughout the Arabian Peninsula. Rahmatullah Ali, he was one of my teachers and my father's teacher. This man, Ibn Qasim, one of his compilation, in addition to the fatawa, is he compiled a durar al sunniya 16 volumes uh, uh, of ulama Najd and their, their writings and their works. Ibn Qasim is considered among the Imams of the Da'wah of Najd. And he has a small booklet on the elucidations of Al-Usul Al-Thalatha. It's called Al-Hashiyah. It's approximately 100 or so pages.